Hey guys, got a quick video for you today. This one's going to be about using edit points to change a word into a shape, kind of like when you're doing monograms and things. Um, I've chosen to show it with a heart, but you can do it with a circle or square, whatever shape you want to do. And you can actually do this with images as well. There are edit points in images. So what you want to do is take your shape. I've already gone and chose a heart and pick a font and type out whatever it is that you'll be using. Actually, let's use all caps. And I'm just going to stretch that out a little bit so it takes up some of the space. And then I'm going to right click and ungroup that. Now when you take the letter that you've ungrouped and you double click it, you get these little squares. These are your edit points and this allows you to modify the font. Now if you need to move something and you don't see an edit point, you can make one. Oops. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Now see, I can't dra keep dragging this without making this a mess, so if I click here it makes that square and I can go ahead and continue to edit this letter. Now this is just going to be a really quick basic one, it's probably not even going to look that nice because I don't want to take up a lot of your time. I know I get bored when I watch videos that are kind of lengthy, so I'll try to keep it short and sweet. Just do it really quick. And it does take a little practice, but once you get everything edited to where you kind of want it, you can go back and change and move it around so that once it's done it looks a little better to your eye. See how we got a little jaggedy? We will go back and... Oops clean that up when we're all done and get all our letters kind of where we need them to be. Ah. If you mess up, just hit your undo button. Love the undo button. And just keep editing, 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 editing. <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to make this pretty because it's not going to be until I sit here and really mess with it. And I know you guys don't want to sit here through all that. I'm just trying to go pretty quick. Hmm. If you have any ideas for a video that I should do that you've been trying to figure out or wondering how other people do, go ahead and shoot me a message or leave a comment down below and I will be sure to work on a video for you. I know I've been a little late with the videos lately, but we had some family stuff that we needed to attend to and help with some of our family members. and. I'm sure you guys know family usually overrides everything <laughs> that you're trying to do. Especially when it comes to wanting some craft time and video time for yourself. Now let me just give you a basic idea. So if you go ahead and move the heart, now your word is in a heart shape. And again, I would go back and just kind of fix up this A a little bit, this, uh, excuse me, S a little bit, the Y here in the middle, and this, this N a little bit. But, um, 
yeah, so then when you were done, I would just highlight everything and group it so that when you go to move something, you don't kick it out and have to re-put it in its spot, line it up. But, you know, something like this could make for a cool little monogram car window decal or something. Anyway, that's how you use your edit points, and that's how you could use it to um, use it in shape. Again, you can do that in a circle, square, oval, whatever kind of shape you're looking for. Uh, I hope that helps, and again, if you need um, help, questions, comments, go ahead and leave those down below for me, and I will get right with you. Thanks for watching. Bye.